This is the American signal crayfish. This is the thing that's causing us so many problems. Uh, this arrived in England several decades ago. The main problem with American signal crayfish is they outcompete our native crayfish. They're better at everything that our native crayfish do. They produce more eggs, they're more aggressive, and they're more voracious. Uh, so they actually physically displace our native crayfish and they also carry a plague to which they are largely immune but the disease affects our native uh, white clawed crayfish. The real problem for us having signal crayfish in the watercourse is the fact that they burrow in large quantities and undermine the banks and create a sediment problem and an erosion problem and they're also voracious predators so they eat everything in the watercourse um, invertebrates, fish eggs, small fish um, and when they've eaten everything else they eat each other. The, um, the native crayfish, the white claw crayfish is now quite scarce in Essex. It still occurs in one or two locations but it's quite unlikely that you're going to find them. Uh, you're more than likely to find the American signal crayfish and this can be identified obviously by the red flash under the claws and this white mark on top of the claws and that's quite obvious actually when they're in the water and they flash their claws quite readily and they're quite aggressive. The native crayfish doesn't have that coloration. Also the cheeks of the signal crayfish are relatively smooth, there are no spines whereas the native crayfish has two spines that you can feel just there. This is a medium sized animal Obviously they start off quite small and they will get much larger than this.